Hi friends, I'm Adafta from Easy Approach and in this video we are going to talk about streams and we will cover the basic of streams. A stream is nothing but continuous flow of asynchronous data. The data keep flowing through the stream during the life cycle of the stream. Now there are two ends associated with the stream. The first one is called sync and the second one is called source. Sync is the point or the end from where we can add something to the stream. And source is the point from where we can listen or we can uh, get the data that's coming from the stream. Now let's see how we can implement a streams. You may have used a stream from some package, but in this video we are going to make our own stream. Now let's see how we can make a stream. So first you have to come at the top and you have to make a variable of type stream controller. So this would make a stream for you. So just come here and let's write final stream controller. And you can give any name like uh, the default name is stream controller. So this would make the stream for you. And now let's add something to the stream so that we can listen to the data that's, that's coming from the stream. So what I'm doing, I'm making a function for adding the data to the stream. And I want to add integer numbers from one to 10 to the stream. So uh, first make a, a loop that will run from one to 10. But before adding the data, what I'm doing, I'm giving some delay so that we can see the data uh, that, that would be coming from the stream on a screen in kind of a timer like way. So for adding the delay, uh, just write here future dot delay and you have to give here the duration. So I want the delay of one second so you can give here and we need to use here a weight. And since we are using a weight, we need to use here async as well. Sorry, not here. Here. And now to add the data to the stream, we need to have the sync end of the stream. So you can get the sync end of the stream by using stream controller dot sync. And now you can add something to the stream. So just write here add and you can add uh, the integer that's uh, in the I. So now we have done with adding to the stream and now we are good to write the code for listening the data coming from the screen and show it on the screen. So for listening the data and to build the UI accordingly, what I'm doing, I'm making, uh, I'm using a stream builder widget. So just you have to write here stream builder. And firstly, you have to define uh, the stream, uh, the source of the stream. So what you can do, you can just uh, write stream controller dot stream. And now here, you first need to write context here. And the second thing is the data. Or maybe write here a snapshot. It's just the name, uh, not a big deal. And now we have uh, different cases inside the builder. We first have to see if there is not uh, any error coming from the stream. So you can check it by using a snapshot dot has error. And if there is some error, what you can do, you can just uh, return text widget. So it would, uh, it would render the text widget on the screen based on the data coming from the stream. So in this case, you just have to write the, hey, there is some error. And now let's uh, write for the second case. 
Now the second case is when the stream is in waiting state because you know it may be possible that at the time of building this UI uh, there is no data that's added to the stream. So in that case we need to uh, show some sort of uh, progress indicator or some sort of loader so that user can know that uh, no data has been added to the stream uh, till now and the stream is in waiting state. So you can right here snapshot that connection state and if it is waiting state you can just show circular progress indicator or whatever you want to do to you want to do to indicate uh, the user and at the loss now we have made sure uh, that there is no error and we are not in the waiting state the last case is when we have data so you can just uh, Right, render the text widget and inside it you can just uh, uh, give the data that's coming from the stream. So you can get the data uh, by using a snapshot.data and this is it we have covered all the cases and now um, no we haven't uh, called this function yet so what we can do just write init state And inside it, let's call this function. Now let's run this application. I think we have done, we have uh, made the stream here and we have added the data to it. And we are listening to the data and rendering the UI. Let's run this application. So you can see the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it's kind of a timer like way. So we can do one thing. I think it's not so much prominent. We can make it uh, a bit prominent. Now let's uh, run this uh, application again. Now you can see the number that's keep coming from the stream and this stream builder is keep rendering uh, the UI whenever it receives a new snapshot of the stream. So first time when one is added, so this stream builder, this snapshot would have one uh, in the value, in the data and it renders uh, the one. And when the, when we add, uh, when, when we added some other number like two, so the stream builder will receive two in the snapshot and this is how it works. So it keep coming, the data keep coming in the snapshot and the stream builder keep uh, rendering the new uh, UI. So uh, this is how we can, uh, we can make a stream, but there is another uh, way of making the same uh, stream. So let's see that way. So the second way is something like you have to write a stream and you have to give the type of the data that would be uh, coming from the stream, from this stream. And you have to give some name like uh, number stream, anything. And you have to write async with this asterisk. So this is how you can make the stream. And now what you can do, you can just copy this all code the loop code and the and this one uh, for delay but now to to return something to to add something in the stream in this uh, format we use yield so now you can just write yield one so this code is exactly same uh, to this to this code the second the first way that we have made the stream so what we can do now just uh, copy this number stream and you can just uh, remove this thing and just write uh, number stream here. So it, w it, it should show the same result as in the former case. So let's run this application again.
So you can see it's still showing the same result. So this is the second way of making the stream. Now there is one important thing. When you make this, this type of uh, a stream or when you make a, a stream by using this syntax, you don't need to worry about the memory leak because uh, uh, whenever the function is completed or the stream is completed, it, the Dart itself or the compiler itself closes the stream. But when you make a stream by using this syntax, you have to close the stream explicitly and you can see it's still giving some warning like a close instance of the sync. So in that case what you have to do in the dispose when the UI uh, when the UI is uh, is destroying actually or when the activity or the screen is destroyed what you have to do you have to call you have to call or you have to close the stream so just you have to write this syntax and now you can see there is no warning so this is how you can make your own streams you may have work already on the streams as i did but and now we have covered how we can make our own stream so this is how we can make the stream so there's one version of the stream here's the code and the second version of the stream is this in this case, you don't have to worry about uh, closing the stream or worrying about the memory leak. But in this case, when you make your uh, stream controller, you have more power, but you have more responsibilities as well as you have to take care of the memory leak yourself and you have to close uh, the stream yourself. Now, there's one great thing about the stream that you can apply functions uh, to the data, life to the data that's coming from the stream. So now let's see what we can do uh, with the stream and what sort of function we can apply. Now let's say if uh, I want to listen only to the data that is actually the even numbers because we are dealing with the numbers. Now I only want to listen to the to the numbers that are only the even numbers. Now let's see how we can do it. For this we have to use where and inside it we have to give the condition and all the data uh, that would pass the condition uh, would be listened. So here it is where you receive the number or the data. We can just uh, return true or false. So if the condition would be true, so this condition, whenever the condition would be true, this data would be listened. So now if I run this application again, so that must show all the even numbers so you can see the first number is two and four and so on all the even numbers so it's not listening to the odd numbers it's only listening to the even numbers so you can see how beautiful this stream is actually because it's applying live the filter to the data that's coming from the stream now we can do one thing more. So this is one one of the function that I like I like most about uh, streams. There's an another function that is map to map the stream of something uh, of some data to the stream of some other type data. So that's another beautiful function. So let's say if I want to if I want to convert the stream of integers as they are and I want to convert it into a stream of strings, we can do by using dot map. So what we can do just uh, you can get the number here and just return the transformed or uh, the other type data. So what I can do just write number and here just write number. So this would return some string instead. So just uh, restart the application. And you can see instead of uh, just the number or the integer, it's showing now the string. So this is the beauty of a stream. You can apply filters to, to the stream and you can map the stream. So it would uh, right convert the stream of some data to the stream of some other data. So this is how you can uh, play with the stream. So I, I, I love this topic in the whole uh, Dart language. I love uh, streams. 
So this is it from this video. In this video, we have learned uh, the basics of the streams. There are more detail or more depth of a stream. And I love uh, uh, to discuss uh, the details of a stream in some other videos. So we have learned the stream and it's, it's just the introduction of the video. If you like the video, please give a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel as well. And I pray every one of you and all the people around the globe be safe from the coronavirus. And I pray, uh, inshallah, we would overcome this soon. So thank you for watching.